Hey everybody, Wunged Always Bored, Never Boring, and the latest installment in my HeroQuest restoration project. Today, I'm going to be looking at restoring the cupboards and bookcases. You get three of these in the box, and each comprises a cardboard element with a plastic topper, and there are two holes in the plastic topper, and those are for inserting either rats or skulls in any combination you want. As with most of the components in my copy of HeroQuest, my cupboards and bookcases have seen better days. They have some paint on them that I will need to remove. They have nubs that need to be cleaned off. The cardboard elements have been scuffed and bashed and a little bit crushed. So in this video, I'm going to very quickly go through the different stages of correcting those problems. You can see here, on the corners, there are cracks in the card that will need to be rectified. The bookcase is a little bit misshapen. There is a hole in the top there where there should be a skull. I have already removed the skull and painted that in a previous video. And you can see there's this yellow paint around the edge that we need to deal with. So first of all, I'm going to remove the little rat and we will paint him in a moment along with his friends. I'm going to take off the plastic top and we can see inside that the cardboard is all quite badly scuffed. But there are no creases in the card faces and that's going to make this very easy to rectify. If they're very badly creased or need refolding, I will normally spray them with Febreze fabric freshener, press them between greaseproof paper, and that will remove any creases and allow me to refold them. I've done that in previous videos with other items of furniture. I'm not going to be doing that with these. I don't think they need it. So first of all, I need to clean up these plastic elements and remove all the nubs and mold lines. And then I'm going to spray everything with Chaos Black. I have here the rats and I'm going to start by giving them a base coat of Dryad Bark. One of the rats has a broken tail. I am not worried about that at all. I guess he had it cut off by the farmer's wife or something. I'm then switching to Bugman's Glow and I'm going to quickly apply a coat of that to the tails. Just being careful not to get it over the dried bark. I'm switching to Gorthor Brown and I'm doing a light dry brush over the fur. And as with all of my furniture repairs, this is a very quick paint job. I'm not worrying too much about it. So the last step is to use Reichland Flesh Shade over the whole model. That's going to bring out the definition and tie the different colors together. And I'm leaving it at that. I'm now moving on to the plastic topper and I'm going to give that two coats of Mornfang Brown. Mornfang Brown is a really nice, dark, rich brown. You can use any brown you want, but as Mornfang doesn't cover that well, it will need two coats. And an always bored, never boring painting guide isn't complete without a bit of Agrax Earthshade. So I'm going to apply Agrax Earthshade over the whole piece. That's going to go into the recesses, bring out the details. Pretty straightforward. I'm not doing anything complicated with this furniture. I am going to do a quick Steel Legion drab dry brush over the whole thing, just to bring out the details and to make it look a little bit dusty and old. But that finishes the painting on the plastic elements. We are moving on to the card. And because I don't need to worry about reshaping the card itself, all I need to do is reinforce the edges and try and fix all of these scuffs where the laminate on the top of the card has started to peel away from the card itself. And good old PVA glue is going to help with that. What I'm doing here is I'm using a Games Workshop texture tool to apply PVA glue to the crushed area of the card. And once that PVA is on the card, it starts to soften it up. And once that happens, you can use the tool to carefully prise up where the laminate has folded backwards, moving it back into place. And then of course the PVA will dry and hold it in place. You can see that scuff looks much better than it did before. I'll do that same technique in a moment on a different part of the furniture so you can see it again. Here, I am just flicking the laminate upwards with the PVA on the tool and it is pushing it back into position and then it will seal with the PVA. I've gone all the way around the exposed edges with PVA glue that will seal it and keep out moisture. And then I'm applying PVA where I'm going to join the two ends of the piece together. And I'm using a couple of elastic bands just to hold that in place while the PVA dries. Once the PVA is dry, I can put the plastic topper back on. And that will just click into place. Like so. And now we need to deal with the corners of the card element where 
the laminate has cracked and you can see the white card showing through. And to deal with that, I'm going to use Balor Brown, Fire Dragon Bright and Wild Rider Red. I'm using this in a combination of three parts Balor Brown, one part Fire Dragon Bright, one part Wild Rider Red, just to get an approximation of the orangey reddy colour that the cardboard element has. And I'm watering the paint down quite a lot and then applying it all the way down the crack. And then I'm just using my finger to wipe off any excess paint and to help blend it in with the cardboard artwork. You will find that as you wipe it with your finger, the paint will easily come off of the laminated part of the card, but it will stay on the cracked area and that's what you want. I am then mixing in a very small amount of Avalon Sunset and I'm just applying a small amount of that on the very corners of the piece and again using my thumb to help blend it in just to provide some colour variation and try to help it blend a little bit more with the artwork. And when the paint's dry, it doesn't look too bad, it blends in quite nicely. You could obviously spend a lot of time colour matching it exactly, but I am happy with that. So I'm just going to pop my two rats on the top. And that's it finished. And we have here the before and after images. Not the most dramatic change, but the piece is much tidier now, and this was a very quick repair. As with all of the furniture in HeroQuest, I have not done really intricate paint jobs. It is, of course, very easy to take the painting one or two stages further to make these things look even nicer. But for me, that is a done deal. So, that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.